Hello friends, welcome to the Wednesday episode. Today we're going Welcome to the channel. If, if this is your first time visiting us, we want to express you a very warm welcome. If you have been here before but you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and hit the little bell icon to get notification every time we post a new video. So if this is your birthday, happy birthday. We're very excited to have you here. So please enjoy, enjoy the short video to follow. Today we're going to have a special episode as last time, was it the last Sunday or the Sunday before that we thought we burned the banjo? Uh, I think it was uh, Sunday before. Uh, we thought we actually burned our banjo, which is a, a very old banjo, so it's very dear to my heart. It's actually a little strange because it has a big wheel and a little wheel. And, and what you... Hmm? Do you remember the sizes? Uh, it's like an 8 inch wheel and like a 12 inch wheel. It's a craftsman. Uh, yes, it is a craftsman. 10 inch something or another. Let's see the front. Direct drive, bandsaw. Okay, there we go. And while we were afraid we actually burned it, luckily we didn't. But while I searched a lot on the internet to find out what the problem was, uh, we end up having to troubleshoot it ourselves. And here what it ended up being. The tire, this uh, black band that you can see here, it's called the tire. And it is intended to actually keep the blade from, uh, uh, keep the blade centered from moving right and left. I don't know, can you come underneath here to see? You probably have to come underneath, underneath. So this tire is no longer positioned correctly and we have had for the last few months, I would say, a problem with this tire actually flying off the wheel. And wow. we could not figure for the life of us what the problem was. So. After a lot of research and after a lot of work, <coughs> I found out that this tire is actually stretched and needs to be replaced. We thought that the, the saw was burned because it actually starts smoking, but the reason why it starts smoking is that the tire makes uh, contact here to, because it is behind. I don't know if it's making it now, but that day it was making contact with the back of the saw and that was generating the smoke but definitely this is an unsafe uh, condition to operate this, the, the saw I'm glad we didn't burn the saw, we actually tested it since and it works without problems but if you have a saw that your tire tends to walk or slip off the wheel then that means that your, your tire is too stretched out and it is time to replace it. And we're going, as soon as the new tire arrives, we're going to make a video showing you how to replace the tire. Now, we can buy an identical an OEM tire from Sears, but I think we found a cheaper one. A poly. Uh, no, when you buy them singly from Sears, you can buy them as singles, and it's about $22 or so. Uh, but if you try to find replacement sizes, they only come in pairs of two. And then they're, you know, uh, $25, $30 for a set of two, but the two are not the two sizes we need. It's only one size. Right. More, more saws these days have uh, the same size wheel bottom and top. But this is actually a direct drive saw. It doesn't have a belt. 
which means that this wheel is directly mounted to the motor of the saw and I think this is why I kind of like this saw so much so we're happy we didn't burn the saw and we're going to have an episode for you in which we show you how to change the tire on the saw uh, this is it for today we just wanted to keep you updated because I know you probably have noticed we have not used the saw for some time even though this is my favorite I cannot speak this is my favorite uh, tool I love the band saw I think it's safer than the table saw and it allows you to make more intricate cuts so I will be happy to have it up and running again well hope, folks I hope you enjoyed today's short episode and we are going to if you did enjoy it please smash that like button if you didn't the nasty rumor persists that the other button works as well like share and subscribe so we'll continue generating content for you and again I want to mention for this if you have a saw regardless of what kind of saw that the tire moves in fact on this specific saw it will fly completely off right? it has yeah my first try of the video yeah. the problem is not the tracking mechanism which I thought me initially was a problem and we spent hours trying to fix the tracking but that was not it it is actually that this has become uh, too loose, too stretched, and you need a new tire. So, I hope you appreciate today's episode, and we are going to see you, see you Sunday with a build. From the Garage Wood Worker, and Elkida, have a great week. That has to be cut out. <laughs> Over. Ready? Go.